In the 80s, it was a really big deal for a little girl to smell like her favorite doll. Matching toys with soap isn't anything new. The more fun the kids are having in the bath, then the easier it is for you to get through your end of the day rituals. When I was little, it was really important to go to school smelling like my strawberry shortcake doll. In fact, if I wanted to keep the smell, I had to make sure to wash my hair with strawberry shortcake shampoo every night. And those dolls still exist. The remarketing of those dolls into today's toy line was absolutely brilliant for people who have young kids now and remember that fantasy of playing with those, those old school dolls. The strawberry shortcake matching shampoo doesn't seem to be on the grocery store shelves anymore but we can certainly make some. In this video, we're gonna revisit that fragrance and make a pretty batch of strawberries and cream. If you remember that nostalgic smell of your strawberry shortcake doll from the 80s, then hit the like button so I know there are more of you out there. And also, if you enjoy watching these soap making videos and you'd like to see all of the other recipes that we have at Thermal Mermaid, then hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to catch up on everything else we're working on. Now I tend to think of the fragrances that lean more towards sugars and sweets as fragrances for children. So we're going to design this soap to look like a goodie or a treat and turn it into a strawberry and cream parfait. So right now I'm going to pre-prepare my colorants and for this project I've chosen a base soap that will be a nice, pretty, soft red with soapberry red, the white for titanium dioxide, a darker red for our caramelized and processed strawberry that'll plop on the top of each piece, and we're gonna put a little green accent in there. Now we'll gently pour our lye water solution into our oil combination to get the soap batter started. And if you're coming across this video and you're new to soap making, at this point you should notice that I'm wearing gloves, I'm wearing safety glasses, and the lye water solution has been cooled down to room temperature. The main part of the chemical reaction has already happened when I dissolved the crystals into the water. But at this stage, it's still a caustic chemical, and you can still significantly burn yourself if you should splash or spill this lye water solution. So make sure to wear your safety glasses and handle it with care. I'm going to use the same oil combination that I normally use with the frosted cupcake tops. This recipe can get the frosting a nice bright white. However, once we add this fragrance oil, we can expect it to turn an off-white cream. This fragrance is heavily made with vanilla to get that creamy smell into the strawberries. Now, of course, we will be using a vanilla stabilizer, and that will keep the soap from turning brown over time. But that really isn't the same as that initial color change you get from the oil itself. So if you're doing this at home, don't get too disappointed when you see this with your soap. The soap will cure a little bit lighter as the days go on. And if you don't want this color, then there are two things you can do to modify the color change. You can add more titanium dioxide and bring the white whiter, but be careful. You can overdo it with the white colorant and it can contribute to glycerin rivers and crackle. I usually don't go over one full teaspoon of titanium dioxide in my recipes, but you can work with this and see if you can modify it in combination with the water content. And then the other option is to find a fragrance oil that uses less vanilla. There are dozens of strawberry scents out there when you go to look for one, so just take note of the vanilla content when you buy. Here, however, I want specifically strawberries and cream, and we'll have an off-white cream in these little shortcakes. To make our strawberry parfait look like it's filled with strawberry seeds, we're gonna sprinkle poppy seeds. Now I'm just gonna dust these in until I'm satisfied with how it looks, but we're looking at a full tablespoon of poppy seeds and then mix it well until it's fully incorporated into the batter so that you have seeds throughout your entire loaf. And it's time to pour the loaf. 
So we'll pour half the contents of our strawberry into the loaf mold. And then we're gonna spoon the cream on top of that, but we wanna give this strawberry layer some time to firm up. And we can keep busy by continuing to mix our cream batter so that it's in the consistency where we can spoon it in nicely. And you can kind of dollop these in so that we get a parfait look, but just make sure that you're careful. We're not going for a drop swirl or a spoon swirl. We wanna to try to get these layered one on top of the other. Now we have one full layer of strawberry and one layer of cream finished. We need to repeat this. We want two layers of each and we're going to pour the strawberry directly into the loaf. We don't need this anymore so you want to pour the entire contents into the loaf, scrape it out and get everything in there. Then we're going to gently place the cream on top in exactly the same way we did the first time, only this time we're going to leave behind about a quarter of the batter because this will be thickened up and piped for a little textured look on top so that we have something to put our strawberries on. With the soap we have left over, we're going to use this as our top decoration. Now you remember we made a bright red lake soap earlier, and that will be our piped strawberries on the top. We only have about a half a cup of this soap, and so it's super easy to just put it into a Ziploc bag while we pipe it. To keep it from getting too messy, just grasp the tip in one hand, and with your thumb, hold on to the top of the Ziploc bag. That way you can open up a spot on the opposite end of the bag and spoon in the amount of soap that you want to be piping. Now, sometimes this will set up and stay all on its own, so you can use two hands to get the soap into the bag. It's not too difficult, but if you don't have a piping bag on hand, this actually is a really easy solution. You might not be ready to pipe at this stage. These bags have to be set aside so the soap can firm up until it's in a piping consistency. Once you're ready, then it's time to start making the decoration on the top. Now you can see that our cream is already lightening up and becoming a little bit of a lighter color, which is going to continue as the soap cures. And we want this to look like cream, or I just want this to sort of dollop on top. It's not a high top, we're just putting in a little bit of a decoration, something to make our strawberries look nice when we draw them down the center of the loaf. So if these are a little sloppy, they don't have to be in any pattern, and you can just kind of put them on the top and dollop them in the same way you would, drop it on top of your strawberry shortcake. And now it's time to drop a big fat red strawberry on top of each piece. 
Now I'll go straight down the line, but you don't have to. You can put a random pattern in here. Just make sure that you have a red strawberry every inch or so, so that each slice of soap will get its own piece of strawberry on top. And of course, we'll give this a dusting of glitter on top and accent it with sprinkled poppy seeds. Now we're almost done. We just have one more finishing touch. Now before we set this aside to firm up, we're going to drizzle some of our green mica and oil that we made earlier just alongside the strawberries. And this will give a little bit of a leafy green look to the side of our soap decoration. After 24 hours, we'll set this on the cutter so you can see what the parfait design looks like on the inside. Now, this will continue to lighten up over the next few days, and while it continues to cure, this cream color will become lighter and lighter, more white than, than yellow. And you can already see on the inside, it's behaving very nicely. And the top is still a little bit yellow, but what we'll do is, in the photos that I'm about to show you, this is what the bar looks like after three days of being set to cure. So as time goes on, it'll continue to be lightened up, and by the time we're ready to sell this, it'll be a nice strawberry and cream color. Now, if you'd like to try this project at home, you can print out the full recipe along with step-by-step -step instructions over at our website at thermalmermaid.com by becoming a member in the Thermal Mermaid Learning Library. Over there, we have all of our recipes documented and ready to be printed so you can browse and find which one you like the best.